Hello beautiful people of the internet. I just want to put a massive disclaimer as well as a trigger warning that today's video is going to be mentioning talks of disordered eating, EDs, and if that's content that you just cannot handle at the moment, it is totally fine to click off now. I just wanted to let you know before we start this video at all, just so we're safe here, all right? I, I want to make everybody feel comfortable. So with that said, Let's talk about this. This video is purely based off of my opinions as well as other opinions that I have also seen on TikTok and on Twitter. It was a couple of days ago, I had been getting a few ED sort of TikToks in my For You page, which is very, very strange to me because I don't watch that content, nor do I struggle with one at all. So it, it was just like, why is this being promoted in my For You page when that isn't even content that I necessarily or even seek out to watch, you know? And something that heavily bugs me too is that TikTok claims that they're on top of everything and they take down videos that violate their community guidelines, which they do, right? They do, but they also tend to really overdo it. Before we get into the, you know, really tough stuff that we're talking about, it really makes me wonder what type of content they care more about removing. Last week I did a TikTok and it was just one of those funny POV kind of TikToks, you know, those stupid ones you see on your For You page. I did one of those and I had mentioned the word sex in it two times, but the video was not about sex. So it was very, very weird to me as how it got taken down it violated their community guidelines for showing adult nudity except I was completely covered in the video and I'm almost 20 years old so I was making an adult joke and that's not allowed and it's just it's a very strange app so with that getting taken down it's like where are their priorities with this kind of content TikTok is very much known for putting videos onto people's for you pages that cater to them what they watch on the platform and I don't watch that and neither do many other people who are getting those videos in their for you pages. Of course, if you're getting a lot of those kinds of ED videos in your For You page, you may be watching a lot of that content. But if you know that you aren't, then that is weird. That is very, very weird to me. I had a video come up on my For You page that I cannot show whatsoever. The video is still up, which is just like, where are your priorities, TikTok? So. This video consisted of a girl and this girl was just in her bra and underwear. This girl is also under the age of 18. This girl also added hashtags like hashtag body check, hashtag calories, hashtag ED, hashtag no calories, hashtag low cal, hashtag fasting. And the comments on there were kind of like half and half. There were people who were completely discouraging their behavior, which obviously should be done because this is not this is not okay content to be posting but you had people in the comments also try and justify this which there, there is a few problems in the video of course you've got a minor who is like literally half naked almost naked and then they're also adding the adding in these really triggering hashtags that I thought would have been banned. I know that Thinspo is banned. That was banned last year on the platform. But I feel like not enough is being done. I would show the TikToks that I have seen on my For You page promoting this disordered eating mindset. However, I, I just don't feel comfortable enough showing them in this video because again, I care a lot about my audience. I don't know if you're still watching this, if you're in recovery or if you're struggling at all. I just, I don't want to spread such a mindset to even a larger audience, but it is insane. It is insane. Where are TikTok's priorities? Seriously, where are they? Because there are too many videos slipping through the cracks. That's like, surely people are reporting these videos because as soon as I get into the comments, it's like, I've reported this, why isn't it taken down and all of this kind of stuff. And it's like, what the actual fuck? Here is a video that I really feel the need to bring up in this video as well. I talked about this last October, you know, last year in 2020. And I'm just gonna be showing you guys this video again because this is a child. This at the time was a nine year old child. 10 now still doesn't make 
make a difference child. Now, if TikTok allows this kind of content to hit the For You page, which is really weird, it is very, very weird. If TikTok allows disordered eating content to hit the For You page, children like that are going to see it and it's going to damage their psyche. It is not healthy. It is not healthy. That's why it's called an eating disorder because it is an illness. Here is an even bigger reason, which I forgot to mention in this video, as to why I strongly believe they don't give a shit about disordered eating and pro Anna content on their platform, is because it takes one Google search to see the massive media sources reporting on the fact that, yes, TikTok has been actively doing this, and if they aren't, explain how we get these videos pushed onto our For You pages. Tell me why I go to the Community Guidelines Center to at least see what they do about pro ED and pro Anna content and there's nothing. Instagram does shit about it. YouTube does shit about it, but they don't? We are seeing in real time TikTok slowly turning into the new Tumblr and it's sickening because TikTok was originally meant for kids and kids without a doubt are gonna come across this content one day whether they like it or not and it's fucking sad. I love you all so much. And I'm so sorry to anybody out there who has to see this shit and deal with it. It's it's honestly just like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, I will, I will see you guys soon. And let me know in the comments as well if you have come across any content like this. I really want to hear your stories because I really do want to start more of a conversation about this. Especially do another video on this if I have to. If there are a lot of stories that you guys tell me about that, that needs to be talked about and heard. So definitely let me know, everybody. I love you and I'll see you all soon. Stay safe and drink water, please.